Edward Ratinsky is regarded as one of the world's most accomplished contemporary photographers. Please join me in welcoming Edward Ratinsky. Thank you, Kate and Carrie, and hello, Branksome. Great to be here. I don't believe that I could be making this work if I didn't have a deep and profound sense of what nature intended for uh, the earth, for the land. And then there was this one fateful moment where I was in Pennsylvania making those kinds of images of the natural landscape and saw this transformed landscape and I got up on this mound and I looked and I did a 360 and realized that everything I was looking at had been transformed by humans. And this was a coal mining region and these were all the coal seams. The, these landscapes felt like there was, there were kind of yearning for a nostalgia, that they were reaching back in time, that they were about something that had already passed us. Whereas this mind landscape, it felt like it was something that was of my time. The industrial landscape, something that we all partake of every day, is a place that we rarely get to see. You know, to every skyscraper, there has to be an equivalent hole in the ground. And by the way, the hole in the ground is way bigger than the skyscraper because the amount of material that we actually harvest and the amount is left behind as waste is a fraction. We only take a fraction of that. Most of it is left behind. So we disrupt a lot of that landscape in pursuit of all the things that we need on a daily basis. Shipbreaking was another place where uh, I decided to go to a place where the biggest vessels we've ever built uh, oil tankers go to die and Bangladesh was one of the main destinations for big oil tankers and again it was one of those shocking things to see I didn't I wasn't even aware that this world could exist where cutting of the marine paints with a torch but no mask no cutting glasses barefoot in a, in a steel yard all these things I thought you know weren't possible that, that this is existing in our time, but they were. And with the Anthropocene, we are now saying we're entering the sixth great extinction. So it's a proposed current geological epoch in which humans are the primary cause of permanent planetary change. So in the simplistic that we are now the agency, we are the equivalent of a meteor impact on the planet. As a, a stills photographer, art photographer, I, I'm looking for those images that stand on their own, that don't need support, that they can you know, reside in a home or in a corporate office or in a museum or wherever, and still kind of have a layer of reading, a layer of understanding encoded in the, in the work. I'd like to thank you, Mr. Pratinsky, for visiting our school and for such a thought-provoking presentation. It was a privilege hearing from someone at the forefront of the environmental movement. I know for myself, and I expect for many here, it is your passion that will stay with us and guide our response in the future.